Hi Libra, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your Is It In The Cards Love Tarot reading for February 2023. This is a love reading for all Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I send you love and appreciation right back. And if you are new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, don't ever try to wedge yourself into it. Just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. Those bring in aspects about money, career, love, moving, travel, and everything in between. Mondays are different every week. So today is the only week out of the month that I post a love reading. Next week will be something entirely different. You're just going to have to come back to see what that's about. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus about love, please. What does Libra need to know about love for the best and highest good of all concerned with Libra? Messages for Libra about love. Oh, we're going to take those as clarifiers. This could get interesting. Um, let's see how many we have because you know I don't like tons of cards, but we can deal with this. Okay. All right. Okay, so we will start here by drawing three cards for your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards in the advice. Your energy is the Hierophant. Interesting. Okay, the, the Emperor and the Knight of Swords. Emperor is four. Hierophant is five. We've got 78 cards here. So even if they're not completely right next to each other, they're close enough. The person you're attracting is the Page of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, the Ten of Swords. Now we've got the Empress. This is rich. Okay, I mean, you don't, I mean, you have to understand this. 78 cards. We have a partner this is these two are partners for life okay and nothing nothing is higher than an emperor and his empress so this is the exact order okay so the hierophant this is this the hierophant represents marriage but there's real love there's a real partnership here i love it that you have the empress in the advice too that's beautiful so we will get on with it here um we have here taurus we have aries we have virgo we have down here more major arcana scorpio aquarius we've got leo here so down here we're not going to spend too much time on this because five cards came out and there may be some significance in that but you know again we try to keep these simple all right so with the um energy of the hanged man and especially with that knight of pentacles the hangman gives you a higher perspective it's a very easy going energy now, the Knight of Pentacles is not necessarily stagnant. It's more about preparation, and that yellow in the backdrop tells you that you have an energy that's bringing in love. I'm going to tell you, yes, it is in the cards, Libra. So that Knight of Pentacles prepares, he plans, and then he takes off running. We do have the Seven of Cups here. The Seven of Cups is kind of a funny card in the middle of this, just because it does indicate choices. And you also have the Two of Pentacles in the advice so I do feel like there's something about choices, but I feel like you'll make the right one. Now, the wheel is important here because the wheel tells you when to hang on and when to let go. So I do feel like if you need to let go of a past relationship, or if you know, I'm in a breakup right now, but I know we have something special. Look, if you loved once, you can love again. There's no doubt about that. And the Eight of Wands is the arrows of love in the tarot. So it's an energy that really moves things forward. The Eight of Wands is a very, it's a very positive energy in terms of a love reading, especially with that uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm just going to put these down just for the matter of holding the cards. But with this together, for some, it will be an unexpected turn of events. Okay, so some of you will have reconciliation. I do believe that when I look at the cards here. Others of you, though, it may be that turning point where you really realize it's time for me to let go. And you have it here, too. So I do feel like somebody here, that is you. And, and it is going to be more about the letting go because there's somebody new that shows up that you realize that you cannot turn your back on. Okay, so anyway, we're going to get to it now. But really interesting reading. I just can't wait to do this. So... With the Hierophant, he holds up his hand and says, be still and know. And it's very interesting when you have the Hierophant 
and the emperor together because the emperor represents logic and reason and the hierophant represents spirituality. So I feel like they're trying to tell you to have that brain heart coherence. But ultimately in our, you know, our, our 3D reality here, it's all about living through the heart. Okay, so meditate, quiet the mind, and that, the hierophant represents unity. So especially with the emperor and the empress here, I feel like you have this magnetism, you have an energetic draw that is bringing this together. And so the emperor too, he is a very committed lifetime partner. He is the architect of the universe. The empress is the path to the heart. And the hierophant is a secret force called forth. So I do feel like you have all the elements working on your side. But why is that Knight of Swords here? Well, it's here to be of service. The Knight of Swords is boldness, courage, the truth. And so I do feel like even reconciliation or a new relationship, it's really about being upfront about your feelings, upfront about what you want in your life, and not from this person necessarily, but what do you want in your life? What kind of a relationship do you want? Because I don't see you as being in something that doesn't measure up. This isn't about lowering standards and taking second best. Absolutely not. Only the best will do. And that's what you're attracting. So with the energy of the person you're attracting, I actually like this a lot. Um, I, I'm Again, I'm a big fan of cards with the yellow in the background. That's very important here. So with the black in the background, though, that's contrast. It's an ending. That Ten of Swords is an ending. So whoever this is, even if they are a reconciliation, it's about ending something negative. It's ending something that didn't wasn't sustainable. So if it was a relationship and it was the timing was off or something like that, you know, maybe they had a relative, I get this, like somebody they had to take care of or even a job that was just draining all their energy. I do feel like if that's ended in their life, a second chance would be worth your time. Um, because with that four of wands, it's a beautiful energy. It's a Hindu wedding ceremony. It's law of attraction and it's absolute bliss. I feel like whoever this is, they've learned from that Ten of Swords. That Ten of Swords is a tipping point in their life. And so I feel like it tipped them from the dark to the light. You know, we don't want to cut out the shadow aspect as much as we want to receive it so we can live whole in this 3D time space reality. But with the Page of Pentacles, I feel like they're going to adore you. That Page of Pentacles looks at that pentacle like it's everything. And so I feel like whoever this is, when they come into your awareness or come back into your awareness, either way, it's somebody who definitely wants to commit. It's somebody who realizes how precious this is and, and really does re recognize the value of love in their lives. So we love this. Now, I do feel like they're telling you to go within. If there's a decision to make, it's time for your ship to come in here. And so we love this three, uh, this ancient Gnostic symbol, that infinity symbol symbolizes bringing heaven to earth. And so twos are about partnerships. And so some of you, if you're already in a relationship and it's not another person coming back or entering, it may also be a tipping point in deciding where are we going next, but the future is beautiful. The uh, hermit comes in here and says, know thyself, know yourself and you will know the universe. They're trying to tell you that's your very best teacher that inner shaman, your inner self represents here and guides you through any uncertain times. And it is a period to a cycle when you're going to gain a lot of wisdom, but it's just like being open to the information. Now the Empress is a wonderful card in terms of a love rating. She loves unconditionally. She loves in a way that evolves and grows. And so in this relationship, they're trying to tell you you have a true partnership and somebody who really does want to be in a commitment with you. I also feel like too, there'll be a very good intellectual match for you. Somebody that matches your sense of humor and even too, maybe financially, something about that too. Even though you have that little bit of that opposites attract, I still feel like it's a match anyway. It may be somebody who's very complimentary to your life. So there may be things about your life and your personality that they actually compensate for in a way. I'm not sure compensate's the right word, but you know what I mean. Compliment. How about that? Um, so let's see here what Libra needs to know about love. Advice for Libra about love, please. Messages for Libra about love. 
improving health so that mind, body, spirit. Of course, in this in this reading, it really is telling you to meditate, quiet the mind and ask, look for a sign. Those signs and synchronicities are all around you. Trust that the universe hears your heart, okay? It's the vibration and rhythm of your heart that the universe responds to in the near future, they say. So things are definitely going to be resolved here and they give you a yes. Now we're going to hear from Louise. Hey, life loves you. I trust my inner ding. That's that intuition that we talk about. You were born with an inner knowing that Louise calls your inner ding. Listen to it and let it guide your actions. So life loves you. I love you too, Libra. And I'll be back again soon.